Uh, Tom Gordon from the Herald. Uh, thank you, uh, First Minister. Uh, just a little bit more clarity on timescales, please. Um, I know you can't give us an exact uh, day in the calendar when we might move to a Scottish currency, but it seems you might well be able to give us a reasonable minimum estimate, given you have a lot of the preconditions set out here in terms of creating and uh, establishing <laughs> institutional infrastructure, establishing market credibility, fiscal sustainability. That sounds the, the work of several years. What's a reasonable minimum? Um, I, I'm not going to put a, a number of years on it for the very reason I think it would undermine the careful managed phase process we're setting out here and one that is overall governed by the interests of the country and Do you know? the Have economy. You worked it out? Um, and, but that, that's precisely my point. If we were able to work that out, then we would take a completely different approach to the one we're setting out, which is it will be guided by requirements and also criteria advised by the central bank as, as we go. For reasons that you know I've covered in response to other questions and the uh, the imperfection, if I can uh, use that word, of the period when we continue to use sterling, we would want that period to be as short as practicable. So we want to move to a Scottish country uh, currency as soon as is practicable. But it, by definition, if you're saying that is to be guided by objective requirements and criteria, and then you try to put a number of uh, months or years on that, then you undermine that approach. So we will follow the, uh, the the process set out in this paper, which makes sense for the country. Well, there's an obvious follow-up question to that is, um, as Peter Smith was pointing out, you have to have an independent currency before you can join the EU, and you would need several years to establish the credibility of an independent currency. Now, I... one of the big ticket items in this prospectus is vote for us and you can rejoin the EU. But if you can't tell us the time scale for the currency, you can't tell us the time scale for rejoining the EU either. Don't you owe voters a reasonable time frame? I, I owe voters what I'm giving them is a candid assessment of the challenges and how we will go about overcoming these challenges. Clearly, as I said to Peter, making sure uh, that these timetables uh, were aligned and, you know, People with uh, a lot of credibility on European matters have spoken before about not the, uh, the, the immaterial uh, nature of that process, but the fact that that needn't be a lengthy process. So yes, of course, we would want to ensure, and part of the reason the paper goes into such detail um, about uh, the way in which we would establish the central bank, because one of the requirements is the not just the existence, but the credibility of the central bank. So all of these things, you're, you're absolutely right, are interlinked. Um, and that's why it's important that we set out these processes in detail. I appreciate we are uh, setting out uh, the detail today on currency. We will set out uh, in a paper coming uh, in the not too distant future, uh, some of this detail on the process for rejoining. But despite the, the centrality of rejoining the EU to your case for independence, you cannot give us a time frame. You can't say if it's five years, 10 years, 20 years. I hope it would be uh, shorter uh, than uh, all of that. But if well, I was what, to stand well, give here... Give us a number then. Uh, no, I'm not. For the reasons I've set out, I... I There's I, a minimum number. It's, it's, not my, it's not my responsibility to write your headlines. That's uh, probably not your responsibility either. Well, it's your responsibility either. to put the facts but in exactly. front of voters. You're and not I'm doing putting, it, are you? I'm putting facts in front of voters. I'm setting out a responsible uh, process that which we would go through to meet that objective of Scotland back in the European Union. And remember, independence is the only route for Scotland back into the European Union.